Hi everyone, Jeff Marion. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We've been talking about the 3M lawsuits involving combat earplugs. Now, it's been bad enough for 3M that they lost four out of five trials already, and have averaged a payout of about a million dollars on each case. But, just recently, the judge in that case gave 3M's lawyers a smackdown. I'll tell you all about that in this video. This is a series of videos that is designed to help you understand and navigate personal injury law. Sometimes I take a break and I tell you what it's like to be a personal injury lawyer, like this video right here. So click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you get notifications when new videos come out. I've been fighting for people injured in crashes and in falls and by unsafe products for over 25 years. I've also helped veterans who are disabled get their service-connected disability compensation. As a result of that, I've been taking on some of these cases in the 3M combat earplug litigation. So I'm here to keep you informed and to help keep you safe. We'll skip the whole recap on what this litigation is all about. Check out this playlist. This is going to get you totally up to date on the litigation and where we're at. Not only has 3M lost four out of the five bellwether trials to date, but two of their lawyers were recently sanctioned for their conduct in court by the judge. During the trial of Lloyd Baker, which happened in June of 2021, two of 3M's lawyers, Kimberly Branscombe and Jay Bamani, were sanctioned $12,000 by the judge for their conduct in this case. I want to hear from you. I want to ask you a question here. Do you think that lawyers should win at all costs? Do you think there's a line that they just shouldn't cross when representing a client? Or do you think that they're obligated to do what the client asks no matter what to get the result? Leave your comments in the section below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say on this. The controversy started in closing argument. During the defense closing, the 3M closing, they wanted to put up slides that talked about the fact that 3M combat earplugs had a specific and certain noise rating. Judge Casey Rogers said to attorneys Branscombe and Bamani, okay, you can use this slide to support or discredit uh, expert testimony that's come in during the trial. But what you can't do is you can't use the slide to represent to the jury that the 3M combat earplugs had the specific noise reduction rating. Well, the lawyers didn't exactly follow directions. So Ms. Branscombe in her closing argument said to the jury, hey, here's your common sense. Come on, why would a competitor of 3M hire a lab and issue a report that painted this rosy picture of how well these devices worked? Well, the judge was having none of it. And she had said immediately, hey, enough and this is the first time in 19 years on the bench I am going to be sanctioning an attorney for their conduct in court. In issuing the fines and the sanctions against attorneys Branscombe and Bamani, she said today these proceedings and the integrity of the court have been degraded. They were disrespected by a willful violation of my orders by 3M's counsel. She finished by saying I'm very upset by this. And as a result, she fined Ms. Branscombe $10,000 and Mr. Bamani $2,000. So the judge issued fines totaling $12,000. Ms. Branscombe had to pay $10,000, Mr. Bamani $2,000. Dead insult to injury. The jury came back about an hour after all of that went down and issued a $1.7 million verdict in favor of the plaintiff in the case. Okay, let's sum up what's happened so far in all this litigation. As I said before, 3M has lost four out of five of the Bellwether trials to date. They've paid out over a million dollars in each of those cases that the plaintiff won, and their lawyers have gotten sanctioned. I'd say, eh, not a great look, 3M. So what lies ahead? There are about 200,000 litigants in this case. There are future Bellwether trials scheduled for September and October of 2021 and January of 2022. Obviously, I'll be keeping you up to date on all of that and I'll preview those trials as they start to come up. If you used 3M Combat earplugs and you suffered hearing loss, please contact me at the email address below. You can also click on my website, www.jeffmarionlaw.com 
If you have other questions about personal injury law or you've been injured in a crash or in a fall or by an unsafe product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the like button and share this in your social media network. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you get notification when new videos come out. So I'll be back soon with another video about personal injury law. Until then, we'll see ya.